The SABC spoke to Minister of State Security David Matlobo about how government is dealing with the Vuani situation. When the president dispatched us to uh, Vuani, uh, the Minister of Cocktail, responsible for local government as a chair of the IMC, myself and the Deputy Minister. Well, when we went on the ground, uh, we had already had information because uh, of the untold sufferings that have happened, the actions of humankind where they actually destroyed uh, the education facility, something that even during the struggle for freedom, it was actually not allowed to happen. When we went on the ground, we discovered that um, there are issues that were there, especially the question of the demarcation, mm -hmm. which is a genuine issue that people have a right to raise. But the manner they raise these issues in terms of with government, then they decided to, to affect the rights of many young people in terms of the untold suffering. Yesterday, when we were in a prayer, many of us, we shared the tea, when these young people were saying, parents, but please stop burning our schools, you're burning our future. And it was very profound because some of the people, when they engage in these activities, they don't understand the implication. This new phenomenon of burning schools, libraries, universities is something that we must condemn and deal with it. There on the ground, we're able to do an assessment that in as much as this genuine concern about the issues of the outcome of the demarcation process, certain elements within that particular community, they were able to hijack that particular genuine concern, engage in the acts of violence, intimidation, wanton destruction of property, barricading of the roads that are them. Mm -hmm. And our assessment indicates that these people, they don't want to go with them. Fundamentally, there are two issues is one of the question of the economic benefit. There are those that are pushing an agenda to say, if we move from this particular era to the next, will we be able to have an economic benefit? Mm. Secondly, the question that uh, there are those that feel that their position might be threatened in the new entity. And those are the concerns we have. But in order to be able to get the communities to join this issue, there are those people who are taking backwards, raising the question of tribalism as an issue to agitate. You will know that societies, if you want to destroy a nation, raise issues of ethnicity, raise questions of religion, and you can raise issues of racism. Those become the boiling point. But more important, we are very comfortable that President, the, His Majesty the King, and all of us working with the Premier there, we've been able to contain the situation. It has not been an easy situation. Mm. And the stakeholders, you see, the religious sector, education, NGOs, traditional leaders, including government, and including the ruling party that came to the party, all of us will say, Marumo Fasi, let's not be able to continue with this thing. Let's allow the people of, Malam, uh, of uh, Vuani to have stability, proceed with their lives, able to go to school, yeah. go to work, access medical uh, uh, care, uh, care. But more importantly, let's start a journey right. and negotiate the issues of the demarcation because there's nothing that South Africans, we must know that we are well renowned, that if there are problems and conflicts, only negotiations are the solution to our issues. Let's talk about those solutions, Minister, uh, particularly in terms of education. Mm. Will metrics be able to write their final exams this year? Well, there is a commitment. Um, uh, there is a commitment from the local leadership, them, led by the king, all the traditional leaders, including those that are in favor of going to the new entity, including those that are opposed in going to the new entity, all of them. They agree that as a nation, we must allow our children to proceed with their lives because education is the only thing that we could give our children so that they too can have an opportunity. Mm -hmm. Therefore, when there was a prayer yesterday, a, a number of civil organizations, everybody is saying, what can we do to help? We are expecting that the program that will be rolled out by the Department of Education, both in the in nationally and in the province, supported by all of us, they will be able to start the schooling back. They should be able to be in a position to deal with the devastating effect of the damage to infrastructure mm -hmm. that runs to millions. But more importantly, we are expecting that they should put a support program, how to support in terms of the time lost. But more importantly, the teachers are also very an important player. Yesterday they made a commitment that they will do whatever they take so they can go to back to work. 
put a program to support those students, and we expect that they will be able to find and recover the lost time. Minister, now, uh, you, there was a, a meeting that was held uh, on Friday, and the media was briefed on Friday, but for mm. the benefit of our viewers, just to tell us, uh, what can you commit to and tell our viewers today that uh, as part of these negotiations is actually going to bring about lasting stability long after mm. the police have left Vuwani? Well, the most important thing is that all South Africans, there is one message that we're trying to say that as South Africans, we must be able to look at ourselves into the mirror. What have we become when we actually want to exercise our right? We engage on acts of violence. That's the first message that we're saying, that we cannot be a nation that is renowned for violence. Mm. When we've gone through those difficult times during apartheid and during the transition to democracy, Secondly, we have also agreed that people can continue to exercise their right as, the, as enshrined in section, seven, uh, section 17 of Chapter 2 of the Constitution, that they can express their views. But the manner they express their views, they should not affect the rights of others. But our experience is to say, South Africans, let's never tire to engage. Because one of the problems is that when there are problems, either those local leaders or those who have grievances, they run away from the table to engage on issues, then it causes problems. Then we have agreed that there is a program of action that will deal with the question of security. That era must be secured. Intimidation can't be allowed. Arrests are going to continue. Okay. We'll be in a position to take people to court like we've taken. On the 16th and the 17th, they will appear. They then we will also have the program how to develop that particular community. Yes. And then lastly is a question that negotiations around finding solution with respect to the demarcation issue, while the traditional leaders have decided to go to court. Let's give it a chance. Meanwhile